Hi everyone, welcome to Wish Problem. So in this video, we will be looking at AM5 Analytical Geometry Class 8. Pearl packages we will see. First, we will start with Pearl package. First question. So the question says that the area of the triangle formed we have to find. So points I will write. One minute. 0, 0, 3, 0, 4, 5, 0, 5. So these are the points given. Now, as you all know, this is x1, x2. This is uh, x2, y2. Sorry, x1, y1, x2, y2. And this is x3, y3. Now we will find the area of the triangle. So area formula is half of uh, x1 into y2 in y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 minus sorry plus x3 into y1 minus y2 so this formula i am using there were three formulas to use right so this one i am using half of x1 is zero so this full term will get lost right if you find this uh, then zero into anything is zero only so this full term will be zero only 0 minus 5 even though I am writing the next 2 is 3 into 5 minus 0 uh, x3 is 0 right so 0 into 0 minus 0 so half of 0 0 right what is there uh, 5 minus uh, 0 is 5 right 3 into 5 is 15 so Fifteen by two square units. So second one we will see. Now they have given us in the question P Q R are the midpoints of A B C B C C A of triangle A B C. Then what are the A? What is the A? They have given the area also. We have to find the area of P Q R. So they didn't. They gave us the area of A B C. We have to find the area of P Q R. First, I'll draw the figure so that you will understand better. So, there is one triangle. Okay. So, here, this is ABC. It is ABC. Now, there is one more triangle inside it. Like this. So, here, PQR. So, then, uh, they have given us triangle ABC. Area of that is 20 unit square, square units. Okay. Then area of PQR, they are asking area of triangle PQR. What is the formula? We have half of, I mean one fourth of the triangle ABC. Clear. So what is the area of PQR? We don't know. We have to find. So they have uh, how to find that. Simple. Now this one we have to find right. So one fourth of area of ABC they have given us right 20 into 20. So four ones are four fives are. So area of the triangle PQR is equal to five units. Square units right? Unit square. Okay. Option B. Right? Yes. Now we will see the emerald package. Now, first question in numeral package is that they have given us what is that three vertices of the parallelogram they have given. What first one is A plus B, second vertice is A minus B. I mean, this is a full one vertice. Uh, second vertice is 2A plus B, comma, uh, 2A minus B. And the third vertice is A minus B, comma, A plus B. Right? This is the vertices of the parallelogram so they have they have asked us to find the fourth vertex of this so it is same like the challenger question right the, like the last one in the challengers so what is the what value we will take it is the formula is x1 plus x3 minus x2 comma y1 plus y3 minus y2 clear now what we will do we will just substitute in the value now x1 is a plus b 
and what is x3 a plus b plus a plus b correct then sorry x3 means this one right a minus b okay fine next here a plus b we have written right now a minus b we will write sorry minus uh, minus x2 we have to write right minus x2 x2 is 2 into a plus b 2a plus b comma now y1 we will take y1 is a minus b plus y3 y3 is a plus b minus y2 is 2a minus b clear sorry 2a minus b only right yeah so let's cancel now see here you can cancel uh, minus b plus b and uh, minus a plus a Sorry, sorry, you have to add it up, right? Sorry. A plus A. Now, here what you can cancel is, here, C, C. Now, A, A plus A is 2A. 2A minus A, that's why I cancelled it, okay? So, three terms like that also we can cancel. It's not wrong, okay? Yeah, fine. Now, here you can see plus B minus B to be cancelled. Then, A plus A is 2A. 2A minus A is 3, uh, 0. Then, plus B. And minus B. Okay. So, this is the answer option B. Okay. Uh, now, we will see the second one. Okay. So, second one for the given us, they have given us the centroid of the triangle. And we have to find the two, they have given us the two vertices also. We have to find the area of it. So, how we will find? First, I will draw the triangle. Then, you will get a clear picture. Okay, now here this is the centroid, right? That uh, the the collision of the medians. So centroid will form by the uh, intersection of all the medians, like one, two, and three. So fine. Sorry, from the edges, right? You can't draw from anywhere you want. So here is the centroid, that is G, right? Now I'm erasing these two because it will confuse us again when we are solving it. These three are erase this. Now here they have given us this G. We can we have to uh, name the centroid with the G, right? A. Sorry. One minute. A B. C I am naming it. Now A we will uh, keep it as four comma minus three. A B we will keep it as minus nine comma seven. And C we don't know. We have to find. And this centroid is 1 comma 4. So we can actually find the area directly. No need to uh, like find that C and find. So area of triangle AGB is equal to 61 by 2. Now area of a, a triangle ABC is equal to 3 times the area of triangle AGB. Clear? So, now 3 into, that is the area of AGB? It is 61 by 2. So, it is not mentioned in the question, right? So, how did I find? You will be thinking. It's because found it before only. That means we, have, we will uh, find that that is like C. Now we know this edge, this one and this one, right? So this is also one for triangle, right? That is A, G, B, right? So with these three, I can find the area of the triangle, right? Area of this triangle I found. So one, two, three in the similar way it is there. That's why three into this triangle. That is the way we have to solve it. Now three into 61 by two is 183 by two. One second, I'll adjust it. Yes. So that is the answer. So the square units you put it there. Okay. Option e is option A. Okay. Now we will see third question. So in third question what we have to do is they have given us the midpoints. That means first you will have some triangle right. 
So midpoints means midpoint of this, midpoint of this, and midpoint of this vertex. So these are called vertices, right? You know. Now I'll name it again A B C because it will be convenient while we are writing the steps. Now this I will name it as D E and F. Okay, fine. Or else I'll just do it as D E F. Like our order, it should go right, not like this. It's a not good, right? Like like this we will. Okay. Now, so they have what they have given first. We will read the question. So here they have given us the midpoints. This uh, point they have given that is this is is one comma two. This F point is five comma seven, and this uh, E point is three comma four. Now let's join them. Okay, it became a triangle inside also, right? Now these three points are given, and they are asking the area of the complete uh, uh, triangle. So how to find that? Now, how many triangles are there? First, this is one, two, three, and four. So there are four triangles, right? So we know these three uh, points. So all are same uh, size. Like the area will be same for four, right? So the full triangle will area will be found when we find the area of this four. That means if you find one block, you can multiply and find the full area. I think you understood. Now we have to find the area of triangle DEF. That is half into that formula. I'm using long one. One into four minus seven plus three into seven minus two plus of five into two minus four module. Okay. Now half into four minus seven is minus three, and seven uh, minus two is or uh, five 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 into three fifteen. Two minus four minus two minus two into five minus ten. Clear. Now. Half of uh, now here uh, fifteen minus three is twelve. Twelve minus ten uh, is two. So two to cancel one one square units unit. Okay. Now this this one triangle area we found right. This one triangle that is one square unit. Now see if I find the same area will be for all the four triangles. So for triangle a area of the triangle. A B C will be equal to four times the area of the triangle D E F. Clear? Now area of A B C we have to find. So four into area of D E F is one, right? So four into one. Now area of the triangle A B C is equal to four square units. I think it's clear. Yes. Option A. You can take it. Now. We will see the next question. Now, fourth one, uh, the statement A. I am solving statement A. So here they have uh, given us three points, and they said the area of it is of uh, ten square units. So area is ten square units. They mentioned. Let's check it whether it is correct or not. So using the formula half into x one minus x two. Uh, then uh, x one minus x three, y one minus y two, y one minus y three. We will use, solve this half into x one. X one is one minus x two is three. X one is one minus x three is five. X one uh, y sorry y one is two minus y two is four. And y one y one is two minus uh, y three is six. Half of Oh, uh, one minus three is minus two. One minus five is minus four. Two minus four is minus two. Two minus six is minus four. Clear. Now we will solve it. What we need to do? We need to cross multiply. So half into this. What is minus two into minus four? It is plus eight. AD minus BC means minus, right? Two minus two into minus four is eight. So half of zero. What is this? It's just zero square unit. That means this is not at all triangle first main thing, and they made it the square uh, area also. So A statement is wrong statement. Okay, this is this is a collinear. That's why these points are collinear. That's why we are not getting any area. Okay, now we'll see the B statement. So B statement is if the 
G is the centroid of triangle ABC and such that the triangle AGB is 20 square units then the area is 60 square units. So how to find now suppose uh, they have given us triangle in the similar manner only but like yeah like this. So they gave it as A B C if we take this is G right the central point. Now this area they have mentioned this is as uh, 20 square units. So area of the triangle A, G, B they mentioned it as 20 square units. Then we have to find the area of full triangle A, B, C. They said it as uh, 60 square units. So let's find. So here is nothing but I'll adjust it for a minute. It's very simple only. Now here, these are three triangles, right? Totally one, triangle one, triangle two, and triangle three. So what we have to do is three into triangle A, area of the triangle AGB. So now what is it? Three into AGB, what is it? 20. So 60 square units is the answer. So this statement is correct. This statement is false. So option D right. Now we will discuss the more than one correct answer type question. One minute let me show that. Yeah. So let's do that. Fifth one. So here they have uh, given us three points that is A comma 0 B, 0 comma B and 1 comma 1. These are the three points given us. They have told that these three points are collinear. Okay. So then the incorrect statement <coughs> we have to find. So if the points are collinear, then the area of that uh, area of the triangle is going to be zero. Hmm? Fine. Now formula you will use half of x1 minus x2. And x1 minus x3, uh, y1 minus y2, and y1 minus y3 equal to 0. Area is 0, right? That's why. Now, let's substitute in this formula all the values. x1, a. x2 is 0 anyways, no need to substitute. x1 is a and x3 is 1. So, a minus 1, you have to write. Then y1, y1 is 0, y2 is b, 0 minus b, minus b. y1 is 0, 0 minus and uh, y3 is 1. So 0 minus 1, minus 1, yeah, equal to 0. Now what I will do, I will just try to remove this uh, half. So what, for that what I will do, I am sending this half to RHS. So half into 0 is obviously half, so just here is simple, okay, one step decreased. Now what we will do? We have to cross multiply right AD minus PC. So A into minus 1 is minus A. Now B into A minus 1. So minus of here already minus will be there. That is AD minus BC rule. That's what you mind. That minus you keep it like that only. Now this minus you keep put it in bracket. Into A minus 1 equal to 0. Close this modules. Module. Modulus sorry. Minus A into, now minus B into A is minus AB and minus B into minus 1 is plus B. So, here what it will come is minus A, sorry, minus AB minus B, sorry, plus B. So, minus into minus plus, right, that's it. Okay, that will be equal to, sorry equal to 0. Now what I will do? I will just uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Here again you will multiply this minus to positive, right? This will become negative. Okay, equal to 0. Then now I will just uh, remove the minus common I will take into so here this will be plus, right? If here minus we removed means this will be minus. Opposite, just make the sign opposite. This will be positive B equal to 0. Now what I will do? I will send this minus to RHS. Then it is 0, minus 0 or plus 0 both are same. So I will not have anything like that. Then I can just simply remove this minus. Right. 
now this will be equal to 0 now what I will do uh, is see just now screen was not visible so here minus I took common so minus plus will be interchanging the sign so minus will become plus plus will become minus and minus will become plus interchanging sign now then what I did I send this minus to RHS so plus or minus 0 both are same that's it so we can just simply remove that minus okay now now let's continue solving it now what we have to do is now this is like this right so this a b this part let's send it to rhs so a plus b is equal to plus a b right it will become minus it was so it will become plus now a plus b this one will bring it to lhs divided by a b equal to what will stay there one will stay there now what we will do is here plus is there right so like lcm normally if it is 1 plus 2 by 3 what we can first is before that step it was 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 right question so in the similar way like question only i'll make it as a by a plus a b plus b by a b so this one no need to copy just for example i explain now a a cancel b b cancel equal to 1 so 1 by b plus 1 by a is equal to 1 clear then after that uh, that's so which is the wrong statement in this that is a b d because a b uh, sorry c is correct no that's why wrong answer statements are a b and c okay these are the wrong three now we will see the sixth one now sixth one we will see so question is uh, k comma uh, 2 minus 2k points are big so let me write fastly minus k plus 1 comma 2k minus 4 minus k comma 6 minus 2k so these are the points which ha they have given us and they said that these are collinear that means the area of the triangle will be zero so what will be the possible values of k we have to find so see same way just now i can give the hint also area of the triangle is zero that one only we will use area of a triangle formula first i will just write it mm, y minus y2 y1 minus y3 equal to zero okay so now half of now first before that only what i will do is instead of keeping this half always i'll send it to rhs then anyway zero only now just i'll substitute the value of x1 it's a k right minus x2 is k minus k minus 1 so plus uh, k plus 1 so this is one we can write right let me put it in step by step then what is x1 x1 k right my minus what is x3 it is 6 minus 2k okay. okay sorry sorry x3 is this right minus 4 minus k then here y1 is 2 minus 2k minus y2 is 2k minus 2k next y1 is 2 minus 2k then minus y3 is 6 minus 2k okay now see uh, now we have to multiply this right so 2 my 2 minus 2k into minus into minus uh, so minus into plus minus minus into minus plus so here 2k this 2k cancel so instead of writing that step i am i am not writing that step okay i'm just directly cancelling it so you should you should be able to understand why i cancelled okay that's what i explained now now uh, here k plus k right 2k plus 1 then here minus 2 minus is plus right so 2 plus uh, k plus k 2k uh, plus 4 because minus into minus is plus <laughs> next here minus 2k minus 2k minus 4k so 2 here 2 is there right that one like that only you keep it now here what is left out 2 minus 6 that is minus 4 is equal to 0. 
Now, just cross multiplication that is AD minus BC. Hmm. So, let's do that first. 2K. This is minus 1, sorry. Because minus into minus is plus. Sorry, plus minus into plus is minus. 2K minus 1 into minus 4 minus. Here my AD is right. Minus BC. So, BC is this. 2K plus 4 into 2, 2 minus 4k equal to 0. Okay. Now what we have to hear there is a lot of step to do. So that's why I'll just write roughly. You just if you want you note it like step by step everything you have to note it again. Even this step also for that solving you should show. So because I'm not showing that I'll just so how show how it is solved actually. So 2k my plus 4 into 2 minus 4k. How this is getting solved, I'll explain here. Now, so this is 4. When you multiply this is 2k into 2, 4k. Huh. Then, uh, then 2k into minus 4k, it is minus 8k square. Then after that, uh, this 4 into 2, 8. It's plus 8. Then 4 into minus 4k is minus 16k. Then minus uh, k, k square. Then here you can just solve this right. K, k, k terms right. Minus, uh, 4 minus 16 is minus 12k plus 8. Hmm? Fine. After here I think clear. So that's what we are going to put it there. That's it. That's why I, I solved it over there. <clears throat> now, this 2k into minus 4 is minus 8k. Uh, mi minus 1 into minus 4 is plus 4. Plus. Now, whatever this is there, right? This one will be multiplied with the minus. So, minus into minus plus 8 is 8k square. Let me adjust it. Yes. Then minus into minus plus 12k minus into plus minus 8 equal to 0. Now here minus 8 is there, 4 is there. So minus a 4 minus 8 is minus 4. So uh, also here 12k is there, here 8k is there. 12 minus 8k is, it is uh, 4k right. So here I'll continue. I'm rubbing this part. Okay. So let me cut it. Now 8 square, 8k square. Now this of 12k minus 8, 8k was plus 4k. Then uh, 4 minus 8 is minus 4 equal to 0. Up to here, I think clear. Now, what we will do? We will take 4 as common. See, 4 to the is 8, right? So, that's why 4 I'll take common into 4 to the 8. K square plus 1K minus. So, here minus 1 will be there equal to 0. Now, I'll send this 4 to RHS. What will happen? It will become 0. Nothing will be there. So, just erasing 4. That's it. Now, what we can do? This one we have to factorize it. Okay. That means you know right factorization. This uh, k, k square coefficient. That means 2. And the c that is the constant term. We have to multiply. That means minus 1 into 2. So that one we will see. One minute I will hmm. So this side I will write this. Minus 1 into 2 we have to do. Okay. So minus 2. Right. So. Here it should make it plus 1 again. So how we can do that 2 into minus 1. Right. It will make plus 1. Clear. So let's put these two values there. In k place. 2k square plus 2k minus k minus 1 is equal to 0. Fine. Next what we will do. Uh, here factorizing that means grouping. Here 2k, 2k common right. So 2k you take common. Here k plus uh, what is there here? 1. Clear? 
sorry it is minus right here one minute i'll check it so what i'll do i'll just exchange the terms i can do that also minus two minus k plus two k it's correct only it's not wrong also so that time i'll get different that means to make same no i have to do in some ways so here i can before only i'll take it as minus one into two so that time no, no change actually it is going to be same but here in the brackets we should get the same digits right that's why i am doing like this now k here you will take common so 2k minus 1 and here plus plus right 1 1 you will take common then 2k minus 1 is equal to 0 so k plus 1 into 2k minus 1 is equal to 0 now k plus 1 is equal to 0 means k value is minus 1 right because k plus 1 is equal to 0 means k is equal to 0 minus 1 is minus 1 now 2k minus 1 is equal to 0. 2k is equal to now minus 1 if I send to RHS plus 1. So k value is 1 by 2 because this will go to denominator. So k value can be 1 by 2 or minus 1. So the wrong answer that means the correct answers are A and B, C and D are the wrong answers. Okay. In the next video we will see the diamond package. Thanks for watching our video. Do like, share and subscribe to Wish for Blooms. Bye.